Since it was fully operational on July 11, the James Webb Space Telescope has astounded scientists with its razor-sharp photos and amazing findings. Prepare to know more of how the JWST has already found an exoplanet with one of the necessary elements for life, produced an image of the sky spanning a region of a fifth of the size of the moon, and shown Jupiter in a way that we have never seen before. Before we dive into these amazing discoveries brought forth by the JWST, hello there and welcome back to the Discover Space channel, where we explore the cosmos, the good, the bad, and all in between. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get on to the video. Compared to the Hubble telescope, the JWST has numerous capabilities. Webb is four times further away from Earth than the Moon, operating at a distance of about 1.5 million kilometers. JWST can't be interfered with by space stations or satellites at this distance. Therefore, its photos are unaffected. Compared to the Hubble telescope, which is located 547 kilometers from Earth. Moreover, the visible and ultraviolet light bands are where the Hubble telescope mostly conducts observations. The JWST has a MIRI for the Mid-Infrared Spectrum Telescope mostly conducts the observations. The JWST has a MIRI for the Mid-Infrared Spectrum and a NIRCAM for Near-Infrared. Astrophysicist John C. Mather believes that the telescope is so advanced that it could see a bug drifting in space at the distance between the Earth and the Moon. The telescope can observe the first galaxies and stars at the universe's edge thanks to the infrared vision. JWST sees through everything like an X-ray even with the thick layer of gas and dust that covers many planets, stars, and galaxies. The 6.5 meter diameter JWST mirror, which is the widest mirror ever carried into orbit, and can capture a lot more light, is one of the major improvements over Hubble. The first photographs captured by the JWST were surprisingly crisp. Even faintly lit objects were discernible thanks to such exceptional equipment. WASP-96b The telescope focused on the extremely far-off WASP-96b exoplanet and quickly produced breathtaking results. The planet was found by astronomers in the constellation of the Phoenix back in 2013. They discovered that it is a gas giant around 1,150 light years from Earth. Its mass is less than half of the Jupiter, yet it has 1.2 times Jupiter's diameter. WASP-96b is considered to be a gas giant as a result. Compared to Mercury's distance from Earth, it orbits significantly closer to its host star. This raises the temperature of the planet to above 1,000 degrees Celsius. Clouds and haze were observed by JWST in the planet's atmosphere. Additionally, it discovered water traces that were indicated by specific gas molecules in the planet's atmosphere. Scientists were so excited when JWST made this discovery. Although this is great news, discovering extraterrestrial life on WASP-96b would be more fascinating. But according to scientists, the first step on this journey is the discovery of physiological important chemicals like oxygen, carbon dioxide, methane, and water. If the telescope also discovers these materials on rocky planets, it would be obvious that we should begin searching for indications of life there. Stefan's Quintet Check out this amazing image, which is the largest ever captured by the JWST and spans nearly one-fifth of the moon's diameter. It depicts the Stefan's Quintet, 
a compact collection of galaxies located roughly 290 million light years from Earth in the constellation Pegasus. This contests four out of five galaxies appear to be engaging in a gravitational dance as they approach and occasionally collide. And at a distance of 40 million light years from Earth, the fifth one is silently observing this spectacle. It's a vibrant and captivating show indeed. Although we have had numerous opportunities to view it thanks to the Hubble telescope, JWST discovered Stefan's content in a different perspective. Scientists assembled this massive mosaic from roughly 1,000 different JWST photos, with a combined pixel count of more than 150 million. Stefan's quintet is depicted in the image in previously unseen detail. We can see numerous bright dots, distant galaxies further back, dazzling clusters of millions of young stars, entire regions of star formations, wide tails of gas and dust ejected from multiple galaxies as a result of gravitational interactions, and even enormous shock waves as the galaxy NGC 7318b pierces the cluster. The topmost galaxy, NGC 7319, has an active supermassive black hole at its heart and a dense layer of gas and dust that JWST was able to pierce through to reach the galaxy's core. The telescope found heated gas surrounding the black hole and captured it in a stunning amount of detail. Jupiter This is Jupiter as seen by the JWST. While JWST was still being tested, scientists made the decision to capture a photograph of the gas giant. Since then, there have been numerous photoshoots featuring the planet. Researchers used this as a means of evaluating the true potential of JWST. And, surprise, surprise, it surpassed all of the expectations. The planet's well-known stripes, which are the result of complicated atmospheric events, were readily visible with Webb. It also photographed the Great Red Spot, an enigmatic superstorm that was 16,000 kilometers wide and capable of engulfing the entire planet Earth. On the left side, you can see Jupiter's satellite Europa, as well as photographs of the two other moons, Metis and Thebe. The planet's rings, yes, Jupiter has rings, were also photographed by the JWST. It is quite challenging to find and see the faint rings of the gas giant, because they are so difficult to discern when they are so close to the bright space objects like Jupiter itself. Southern Ring Nebula Another JWST image shows the Southern Ring Nebula, which is 2,500 light years away from the planet. A dying star is surrounded by an expanding cloud of gas, but the star in the center isn't what's causing it. It's the star underneath. At least eight layers of gas and dust have been discharged over thousands of years. The center, which is extremely brilliant, combines these emissions to form intricate rings of planetary nebulae and pierces them with its light. It's also the way sunlight penetrates through the cloud gaps on Earth. The planetary nebula was clearly visible in the JWST photograph, as was a vast region of space behind it that was home to several galaxies. One of these is the brilliant, narrow shard of light on the left. Here, you may compare the JWST image's level of detail to that of the Hubble. Further distinctions is that whereas the stars in the JWST image have six points of light, the brilliant stars in the Hubble image only have four beams. This is due to the fact that the secondary mirror for the Hubble telescope's circular lens hangs in front of it on four extensions. The JWST lens, on the other hand, has 18 segments of hexagonal mirrors. 
with the outstanding improvements that we have in the JWST as compared to the Hubble, what more do you think we can discover outer space? Maybe some more exoplanets, some stars, and even life is possible, right? Comment below what you think about this video and what you think about the JWST. And as always, we shall see you on the next video.